Welcome to Alderson, population 1200. You got that right, it is a small hometown, and it is my hometown. My name is Stacey Eskins. Let me show you around. Nestled in the lush Greenbrier Valley of southern West Virginia, surrounded by the rugged Allegheny Mountains, you'll discover the small town of Alderson. It is situated halfway between Charleston, West Virginia, and Roanoke, Virginia, and only 30 minutes southwest of the world-famous Greenbrier Resort. It also boasts a unique location along the beautiful Greenbrier River, which effectively splits the town between both Greenbrier and Monroe counties. Settled in 1777 by the town's namesake, Elder John Alderson, this charming little town has certainly seen its share of prosperity and hardship. Once the railroad arrived in 1873, the pioneering days were left behind, and the town quickly flourished. It was during this time that merchants of all varieties, physicians, hoteliers, and more, quickly began building near the railroad, the new hub of activity, which is now the town's historic district. It's at the center of this area that the beautiful 1896 train depot is located, a physical testament to the town's booming railroad days in a more prosperous time. This development boom went well into the early 20th century, creating not only a thriving Main Street, but also significant growth along the town boundaries. Most notable include the oldest privately owned summer camp in the U.S., Camp Greenbar for Boys, established in 1898 as well as the site of the Federal Reformatory, the first federal prison for women, established just outside of Alderson in 1927. And at one time, Alderson was even a college town. There were a few faith-based colleges that sprang up during the town's heyday, the most prominent being the Alderson Academy Junior College, which unfortunately today sits abandoned overlooking the town. Yet it is the downtown Main Street area on both sides of the river that remains the town's central focus for revitalization. Many of the buildings built during the railroad days still stand today. In fact, the oldest continuous business in town, and in all of West Virginia, is Alderson Store, which began in the late 1880s. Currently, third-generation owners manage the store and continue to make it an anchor in the Alderson Historic District. I'd like to see more of the buildings renovated in our downtown area. Some of them are simply incredible. The bank building is one, Alderson Store is another, the uh, pharmacy, the building it's located in is just marvelous. But there are other buildings too, like the Woods and Prince building, the warehouse, that would benefit from a tremendous makeover as part of this story, and other smaller buildings as you go through town. We're really fortunate to have been able to find enough grant money to renovate the depot. So our historic 1896 CNO depot stands out. In fact, it glows where it sits, but we would like the rest of the town to glow around it. What I would like to see is we, we have some storefronts downtown that are not being used and, uh, you know, they're, I right, assume this. most of them have storage in them. Some of them don't look so good. I'd like to see that redone and put to use. There's just so many possibilities from the buildings that are here. And well, it's pretty now, I think, and if it just had some spit shine, as my mother would say, uh, it could really be elegant. And then someone I know had an idea about a town clock, and I, I love that idea because I, apparently there used to be a jewelry store that had a clock on it there on that corner across from Renaissance, and, and we've seen some renderings uh, for a town clock, and I just think something like that, that just sort of screams community to me. I'd love to see businesses all the way up and down the street. It'd be great if the old Alpine Theater could be brought to life. The marquee is gone now and I understand everything inside, like the seats and the screen are gone. But it would be nice if it could be revitalized, have movies once or twice a week, maybe on weekends. The people that own the old Brank building now, which tells the First National Bank of Alderson, uh, have done a lot of remodeling. The first floor looks wonderful. To me, that could easily be a restaurant, maybe even divided into more than one business downstairs with offices upstairs. Our visitor center is a real success story. We took a 1950s era gas station and turned it into a visitor center and some retail space. We have a number of gorgeous Victorian houses. That Victorian era has resulted in 
so many beautiful Victorian buildings in our town. The river is our biggest asset uh, for fishing, swimming, boating, kayaking, tubing. I love to kayak. We love the river and I love nature and animals so living on the river is just amazing. Oh, it's seems like a beautiful spot. It's a gorgeous place to drive along and look at. What we've been fortunate to do is have an entire plan for riverbank enhancement. But it also takes funds, it likes volunteers, and it takes interested people to make that all come to fruition. So I, one of the things that HGTV could do is take a look at our riverbank plan and see what parts of it they might be able to help us bring together and enhance our riverbank. The mini park uh, needs some way for better access for the people to put their boats, their canoes, whatever, into the water. There has been talk of having a, a walkway along the river between the old bridge, which is also Memorial Bridge, and the mini park. Right now it's just been gravel. Of course, when it floods, that washes away. And, but that plan is in place, you know, and uh, a lot, a lot of times you don't have anything, you know, and you're starting from scratch. We're not starting from scratch here. We've got some things that are ready to go. We just, just need to do it, get it done. We have a lot of opportunity in Alderson. We have a wonderful municipal park. That is to say, we've got a lot of space, and some of it is being used, but not all of it. There's room for so much more up there. We're fortunate to have just installed a disc golf course at least nine holes of one. And that's a step in the right direction. We would like to provide a lot more opportunity for family entertainment, family recreation, and of course recreation for the kids to make this a tremendous place to live. We already have so much going for us in terms of a place for families to come and put down their roots, but an HGTV program that focuses on what else could be added would just put us over the top. If HGTV chose Alderson, I would be so excited. You'd probably have to put an anchor on me to hold me down. As you can see, with all its ebbs and flows, Alderson is a place filled with remarkable history and untold stories. A place with grand celebrations and small town pride. It's also a place that has lost its luster, as most small towns have. Nevertheless, Alderson, affectionately known as the Gym of the Hills, is truly a treasure to be restored. We truly believe if you build it, they will come. That's why we implore HGTV's hometown takeover to consider polishing this diamond in the rough so it can shine once more.